Well, good afternoon and welcome to this service of resurrection for our brother in Christ, Martin Hoag. On behalf of all the family, I want to thank you for coming today. And uh, for all of those that are joining us on the live stream, you have our deepest condolences and sympathies as well. We're we thank, thankful for your presence virtually and all the staff and the members at our Redeemer Lutheran Church also extend their condolences. We've got a lot of our locals here. I, I think I saw Aunt Dorothy and Uncle Richard is here and many other extended family and friends and some of the folks from the Westchester, I'm sure, are connected here. We honor Martin on this day. And so welcome. In the name of Jesus, the Savior of the world, we are gathered to worship, to proclaim Christ crucified and risen, to remember before God our brother Martin Joseph Hoag, and to give thanks for his life and to commit him to our merciful Redeemer and to comfort one another in our grief. When we were baptized in Christ Jesus, we were baptized into his death. We were buried therefore with him by baptism into death, so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. Amen. The family chose two songs that they would like, and the first one is Abide With Me. And we'll just do a couple verses of that. Abide with me, fast falls the eventide. The darkness deepens, Lord, with me abide. When other helpers fail and comforts flee, help of the helpless, oh, abide with me. I need thy presence every passing hour. What but thy grace can foil the tempter's power? Who like thyself my guide and stay can be? Through cloud and sunshine, oh, abide with me. Hold thou thy cross before my closing eyes. Shine through the gloom and point me to the skies. Heaven's morning breaks, and earth's vain shadows flee. In life, in death, O oh Lord, abide with me. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and also with you. We pray, O God of grace and glory, we remember before you today our brother Martin. Thank you for giving him to us to know and to love as a companion in our pilgrimage on earth. In your boundless compassion, console us who mourn. Give us faith to see that death has been swallowed up in the victory of our Lord Jesus Christ, so that we may live in confidence and hope until by your call we are gathered to our heavenly home in the company of your saints, through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. A reading from Ecclesiastes chapter 3. For everything there is a season, a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. And from Isaiah chapter 41, do not fear, for I am with you. 
Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my victorious right hand. And from Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And from John chapter 14. Jesus said, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God and believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Martin Joseph Hoag was born on September 5th, 1941, right here on the family farm east of Pine City. His parents, Milton and Emma Hoag of Norwegian descent, raised their children in these parts. In fact, this is the same cemetery from the, Milton, the Milburn Church, which was a predecessor of our Redeemer Lutheran Church. Martin was one of three children, included his brother, Milford and sister Diane of Sun City. He lived his whole life around here, attended the rural Souter School, which was just across from the Souter Farm, through the eighth grade. Diane said Martin was a brilliant little boy. She said he was smart as a whip when it came to remembering. <coughs> he didn't have a lot of hobbies. <coughs> he didn't hunt or fish much, but he did love to read. And there were also many chores to attend to living on the farm. Dairy cows to milk, corn and other grains to plant and harvest. Martin worked for other local farmers throughout the years. And later in life, he cared for his mother on the farm before she went into the nursing home. It was about 10 years ago, I'm told, that Martin moved to town and settled in at the Westchester Village. And he made many friends there and enjoyed the conversation and the camaraderie. Being a night owl, he also had some great conversations into the night with his friends at the village. Martin was baptized by Pastor Folk, as I mentioned in the Milburn Church, which merged with Pine Grove Lutheran to become our Redeemer. So we stand on his shoulders today and the shoulders of his grandparents who helped build this church in its early days. Diane described Martin as my baby brother, who was interesting, informative, friendly, and quirky in his own little way. So blessed be the memory of Martin Joseph Hogue in our hearing on this day as we commit him into the everlasting arms of God's mercy. When I first heard the news that Martin had died, I think it came to a surprise because they had to open his door to find him at home in his apartment. And a part of me was sad that he had died alone. And yet as people of faith, I had to be the first one to remember, not even a sparrow falls from heaven without the Lord noticing. No one dies alone in this faith. We take Christ at his word. I go to prepare a place for you, so where I am, you may be also. And so we bank on that promise of Jesus' reassurance that someday we'll be together again. The kingdom belongs to his children, and when one of those children fall, they fall into the arms of the Almighty. So know and trust that Martin is safe with God in the kingdom of heaven. <clears throat> Sometimes we don't have the answers and we're left with more questions. And that's normal at this time in life <clears throat> as we stand at the edge of death. I remember a 
funeral I did many years ago for a baby girl. Talk about a shocker, a crib death. And at the end, the parents came to put a roses on her casket, her little casket, one for each week of her life. But it was a windy day, colder than today, with a lot more wind. And it looked like those roses were going to blow right off her casket until other people brought their flowers in and placed them on top of that little casket. And as more flowers were brought forward, that bouquet held, held fast in the wind. It was a metaphor for me that together we can conquer death through our faith in Jesus Christ. There's a saying, a joy shared is doubled, but a burden shared is cut in half. So we can thank God for each other, our friends and neighbors who gather and carry the burdens with us each day. When all else fails, remember the words of Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord maker of heaven and earth. These days it may seem that help is far off and the loss of a loved one will take time to heal. Let the tears flow as they come and trust that a new day will dawn, that joy does come in the morning. Share the stories about Martin and what you loved most about him because that's the deal with love. It's the one thing no one can take from you. Jesus said, you have sorrow now, but I will see you again and your hearts will rejoice. And no one will take your joy from you. That's the hope and promise we have today as we stand at this empty grave. We remember another tomb that was empty. When the earth shook and the stone was rolled away and death was swallowed up in victory. This Christmas, believe in the one who was born for you who came to live and die for you and be raised in victory once and for all, so that we too can follow his light in a dark world. Won't you pray with me? O oh God, surround this family near and far with your peace that passes all understanding. Be near me, Lord Jesus. We ask this in prayer. Until that day when we see you face to face, in your holy and precious name we pray. Amen. Children of the Heavenly Father, safely in His bosom gathered, nestling bird nor star in heaven, such a refuge e'er was given. God His own doth tend and nourish, in His holy courts they flourish, from all evil things he spares them, in his mighty arms he bears them. Neither life nor death shall ever from the Lord his children sever. Unto them his grace he showeth, in their sorrows all he knoweth. Though he giveth, or he taketh, God his children ne'er forsaketh. Is the loving purpose solely to preserve them pure and holy? We have been made God's people through our baptism into Christ, and so living together in trust and hope, we declare our faith with the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, 
the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, in holy baptism, you have knit your chosen people together into one communion of saints in the body of Christ. Give to your whole church and earth and on, in, on heaven and on earth your light and your peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Grant that all who have been baptized into Christ's death and resurrection may die to sin and rise to newness of life, that through the grave and the gate of death we may pass with him to our joyful resurrection. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Grant to us who are still in our pilgrimage, who walk as yet by faith, that your Holy Spirit may lead us in holiness and righteousness all our days. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Give courage and faith to those who are bereaved, that they may have strength to meet the days ahead in the comfort of a holy and certain hope, and in the joyful expectation of eternal life with those they love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Help us, we pray, in the midst of things we cannot understand, to believe and trust in the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of, of life to everlasting. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of all grace, we give you thanks because by his death, our Savior Jesus Christ destroyed death. And by his resurrection, he opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Make us certain that because he lives, we shall live also. And that neither death nor life, nor things present, nor things to come will be able to separate us from your love in Christ Jesus our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us commend Martin to the mercy of God, our Maker and Redeemer. We pause for a moment of silence. Into your hands, O merciful Savior, we commend your servant, Martin Joseph Hoag. Acknowledge, we humbly beseech you, a sheep of your own fold, a lamb of your own flock, a sinner of your own redeeming. Receive him into the arms of mercy, of your mercy and into the blessed rest of everlasting peace and into the glorious company of the saints in light. Holy God, holy and powerful, by the death and burial of Jesus, your anointed, you destroyed the power of death you made holy the resting places of all your people. So keep our brother Martin, whose body we now lay to rest in the company of your saints. At the last day, raise him up to share with all the faithful the endless joy and peace won through the glorious resurrection of Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Therefore, ensure in certain hope to the resurrection of eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. We commend to Almighty God our brother Martin Joseph Hogue. We commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. The Lord bless him and keep him. The Lord's face shine on him and be gracious to him. The Lord look upon him with favor and give him peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Rest eternal, grant him, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon him. And now, O Lord, support us all the day long of this troubled life until the shadows lengthen and the evening comes and the busy world is hushed, the fever of life is over and our work is done. Then in your mercy grant us safe lodging, holy rest, peace at last, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
Let us go forth in peace in the name of Christ. Amen.